All right, guys. I uh, got me a fan shroud. I just pulled it out of a van. So I forgot what kind of van was it, but anywho, now I'm making me a bracket for my uh, radiator. I got that one from the junkyard out of the same car as I did the shroud, but um, that one doesn't quite work. So I'm just gonna go back to uh, plan A and uh, reuse this bracket, but I have to drop it down lower because uh, the top of the radiator cap hits the hood, like right there. So that ain't good. Plus the fact it's plastic, so it'll break easy. So I'm gonna drop this down some, try to avoid from this bracket hitting this uh, steering box adjuster. So I'm gonna figure something out. And um, we will go from there. So I got this piece welded in, there and there, lowered it down. And I had to cut this piece off a little bit to where I can get to that uh, adjuster bolt. It just barely misses it, so. Glad I got that fixed. And I got this bracket in right here. Got that all welded up. Now I'm just gonna test fit the radiator. All right, in it goes. All right, that's the first part. Now, get rid of all this crap. Get rid of this. Close it all the way. Seems trustworthy. It's like up there you have that cap. And if you just feel it, it does, it does not touch. Depends on where you adjust it, so. Yeah, it's like move forward, fiddle around with it until you get it just right. All right, got my uh, tensioner rod. I'm just gonna put it on the back side. Just bolts right up. I made this out of some scrap metal. So I'm just gonna put it in there, tighten the two bolts, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to put my fan shroud on with ease. It's windy out again. So, it wouldn't be considered one of my videos if it wasn't windy out, right? So, uh... Anywho's, um, I had to cut this a little thinner so I can get to this little uh, adjuster bolt. So it just barely misses it. And um, this thing sits down nice and flush and I have it where I need it. And then I close the hood all the way like that. And then like I would feel under here with my hand and I notice the cap does not touch the hood anymore. So that's exactly what I wanted. And also, you can also take some uh, paint or bearing grease or whatever and put it on the highest point of the cap, close the hood, and when you open it back up, uh, if you see uh, any rubness or bearing grease on the bottom of the hood there, then you know you still have issues. But I think I'm good, so I'm going to pound this bracket down a little bit more so I can uh, get it uh, further down in there. So I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm going to brace the back and I'm going to put the shroud on. Okay, so... If you can see that good enough, it just barely misses it. So, there's like a little bit of space. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's like right there. So, I mean, it's like really close. There's the cap right about there. So it's still got some playroom. And like you bang on the hood, there's like, it like, there's plenty of room for vibration. So when you're driving this thing, you don't want the hood to be bouncing on the cap and have it break off. Cause this thing is plastic, you know? So the original one, the uh, radiator cap was in the center and it was made out of all metal, but for what I got, trying to make it work. So um, now I got this fixed. So I'm uh, gonna put my fan shroud on. All right, got my bracket nice and painted and uh, got this top piece nice and painted. 
Now I'm waiting for this to dry so I can manhandle it. So now we just take our good old radiator and uh, slide it in there like that. Be careful. Don't bend any of the fins and tabs and all the little doodads. So it just sits right in like so. And um, now I'm going to put this bracket on that goes on the back side. Goes onto this little clamp right here. There's one on the other side too. And uh, it just sandwiches this radiator in place so it keeps it nice and soft so it won't vibrate around. So uh, some modifications were made. I had to bend the ends a little bit. So it will uh, make the radiator tighter because I made some adjustments when I had to push it down. So, hold on, I'm going to pick up my tools, keep stepping on them. But anyway, um, so that's that. Uh, I'm going to put this piece on. And luckily my fan shroud is two pieces. So that will be a hell of a lot easier trying to put it in there. So I'm going to wait for this to dry, put it on, and uh, we'll be ready for the next adventure all right this piece is somewhat dry not all the way but good enough so uh, for what I'm doing the uh, tabs it goes on this way so like the part that's bent out goes like this so it sits in there like that and then you tighten the two bolts and just um, get it nice and snug until the radiator doesn't wiggle around anymore Alright, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. If you're completely copying me, you should end up with something like this. And it just goes along and it barely clears the clutch fan here. So, and then come over here, same thing on that side. And uh, also, I've uh, put this rod. These holes in here were there originally, so I decided to uh, salvage that and uh, use that spot. And it just, it lines up perfectly. So it goes perfect with what I have. So uh, that was my idea. So I'm trying to give you guys some uh, thoughts and opinions. And um, once you uh, get this piece on, I might have to cut a notch out at, so the fan shroud can go around it. I might have to self tap the fan shroud into like this frame piece or whatever. And uh, also, I'm going to have to cut a notch so it can fit around this power steering pump. So, um,. I'm going to take my measurements, do that, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, just a little something extra. If you guys are doing what I'm doing and not buying the original brand new radiator, which costs well over 200 bucks, um, you're going to want to make sure uh, the radiator you're going to get uh, fits perfectly in this space. Oops. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so I did it up here so you can see better. So there's that end, and there's this end. So it's about a 28 inch clearance between here and there. So um, you want a radiator to be within that range. So uh, if you want to cut this frame out, you know, re-bracket it and make it all fancy schmancy, be my guest. But I didn't have time for that. I didn't want to do that. And I figure you guys don't want to either. So that was just a quick tip. And um, also... Uh, if you're wondering, this clutch fan, it's a seven blade fan and it's about nine, it's uh, 19 inches in diameter. So if you get a 19 inch fan shroud, which is hard to find, that's kind of pushing it. So you're going to want to go at least a 20 inch fan shroud in diameter. So, and I'm sure this fan shroud is well over that. So uh, this fan shroud is about 22 and a half inches in diameter. So, um, I forgot what car I got off of. Um, it was a van, actually. Um, have you ever seen the, uh, first movie, Home Alone? Uh, the van the bad guys drove? It's, it's that van I got it off of. So, try and find one of those, and, um, you'll, um, this will definitely work for this kind of vehicle. So. Alright, got the bottom half in place. There you go. So what I'm gonna have to end up doing is uh, gotta cut these little corners off here and right there. I gotta cut out a little notch for the bottom end hose to the radiator. And then uh, I'm gonna make some brackets that go like here. And I'm gonna self tap screw it 
to here and the plastic on the shroud. So I would weld the bracket on, but I don't feel like welding. So I'm just gonna do this and uh, it should turn out just as fine. And it's dark out. So uh, this is what I got right here. Just made me some brackets. I screwed into the plastic into the metal. Same thing to the other side. And I had, I had to cut these holes. So I cut these holes just so the uh, bottom hose and the drain plug can uh, go in nicely. So I know it looks tacky, but really it doesn't. So it's getting darker and colder out here by the second. So we're going to resume this tomorrow. Got the fan shroud in. And uh, this is the permanent spot. So, got the bottom part and got the top part. This is where it sits and it fully clears the fan. So, I'm gonna put the radiator on and uh, bolt this down. Maybe screw it to here some. I gotta do a few patch jobs, but nothing major. All right, um, so I cut out a piece of diamond plate out of uh, some stuff I had over there. But um, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna drill holes out for these and find the bolts that match up to this thread and I'm just going to screw it down and the other part I'm going to self tap screw into the fan shroud so this gap won't be here it's a safety issue also but mainly it's so um, air won't get sucked in here because you want all the air to flow through the radiator so um, when I uh, resume this tomorrow I'm going to screw it in drill these out and um, start it up and uh, see if my uh, cooling makes a big difference. I think the majority of my problem is the uh, thermostat up here. They say if you put just regular water inside your uh, cooling system, it will uh, sludge up your uh, thermostat and your thermostat won't work properly, letting um, cold uh, coolant go into the um, engine cooling system. So. And uh, I also had to uh, loosen up my power steering pump because it uh, kept getting hung up on the shroud here. So I had to cut a notch out so it can go around the power steering pump. And uh, I just found some bolts laying around, couldn't find the other one, so I just used those. And I bolted those up, turned out pretty good. Now I just gotta tighten up my pump. Oh, plastic. Plastic shavings. But anyway, gotta tighten this up and uh, gotta screw this piece in. And um, so far is fitting in pretty nicely. So you got the top part here, and then you got this side, which that's a pretty big gap, but I don't know. I mean, this has to go in some more. So I think once this gets closed in, the gap will be pretty small, so. And uh, here's the back side. Fits nice and perfectly. All that good stuff. You know, clears the fan nice. No rubbing whatsoever. And uh, come on the bottom. There's the bottom side. There's a slight gap down here too, but I'll cover that up later. I'm not really worried about it. It's mainly the top that I'm really worried about. So it's turning out pretty good. All right, um, so I cut out a piece of diamond plate out of uh, some stuff I had over there. But um, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna drill holes out for these and find the bolts that match up to this thread. And I'm just gonna screw it down and the other part I'm gonna self tap screw into the fan shroud. So this gap won't be here. It's a safety issue also, but mainly it's so um, air won't get sucked in here because you want all the air to flow through the radiator. So um, when I uh, resume this tomorrow, I'm gonna screw it in, drill these out, and um, start it up and uh, see if my uh, cooling makes a big difference. I think the majority of my problem is the uh, thermostat up here. They say if you put just regular water inside your uh, cooling system, it will uh, sludge up your uh, thermostat and your thermostat won't work properly, letting um, 
cold uh, coolant going to the um, engine cooling system. So, and uh, I also had to uh, loosen up my power steering pump because it uh, kept getting hung up on the shroud here. So, I had to cut a notch out so it can go around the power steering pump. And uh, I just found some bolts laying around, couldn't find the other one, so I just used those. And I bolted those up, turned out pretty good. Now I just gotta tighten up my pump. Oh, plastic. Plastic shavings. But anyway, gotta tighten this up. And uh, gotta screw this piece in. And um, so far, it's fitting in pretty nicely. So you got the top part here. And then you got this side, which that's a pretty big gap, but I don't know. I mean, this has to go in some more. So I think once this gets closed in, the gap will be pretty small. So, and uh, here's the back side. Fits nice and perfectly. All that good stuff, you know, Clears the fan nice, no rubbing whatsoever. And uh, come on the bottom, there's the bottom side. There's a slight gap down here too, but I'll cover that up later. I'm not really worried about it. It's mainly the top that I'm really worried about. So it's turning out pretty good. Got my cover all nice and painted. Looks really good. And now for the moment of truth. Take all this lovely tape off. Butamus. I painted it flat black, by the way. But now I got that on. Looks really good. I love it. I'm happy.